Hello and welcome. I'm Shilpin Patel from analyticsup.io, where one and only goal we have is to make you an awesome click developer. In this session, we're going to go over some data modeling tips for beginners. So we'll look at one of the important ratios called subset ratio and then use associative insight to discover some of the values based on the subset ratio. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So I already have an app open. I'm going to go to data model viewer and I'm using the latest release, which is April release. So in that now we have all the menus at our fingertips. So if you look at this data model, you can see all these tables, the fact table and all the dimensions around. So if I highlight fact table and for instance, one of the key fields, customer ID, I can see subset ratio of 97.8%. Now let's look at the subset ratio in the customers table, which is dimension table. If I click on the key field, it shows subset ratio of 100%. So what is subset ratio? Simply put, it shows number of distinct values present in the current table versus total distinct values in the entire data model. That being the case that are 91 total distinct values in the data model as shown here and the present distinct values in this table also shows 91 and that is why we have 100%. Now let's move over to the fact table and look at customer ID in the facts table there it shows subset ratio of 97.8%. Again, it's the ratio of the present distinct values, which is not 89 divided by 91. That gives you 97.8%. So now the question becomes, we have two values that are not in the fact table. So in layman term, that means two customers have not placed any order, correct? Now, if someone asks you questions to how you find those two customers who have not placed an order, and let's assume that you don't have any charts or tables yet to answer that question, how do you answer that question? And that's where the associative insight comes handy. So if you go back to selections menu, and then the trick here is let's find the field order ID, and then click on the search icon, and then through ellipsis and select possible values. That means now we're locking in all the order IDs that exist in the orders table. By virtue of doing that and by virtue of knowing how the associative model works, you know that if you look at customers field, there will be two customers displayed in gray. But for sake of using associative insight, let's generate some insight. And it gives us a lot of good insights. And one of that is the customers. So if I click on customers, now in a graphical form, it shows that 89 customers placed orders worth of $1.3 million, whereas two customers did not place any order at all. So the contribution by these two customers is zero. And if you want to know the name of those two customers, simply click on reveal data for excluded values at the bottom. And there you go. You have two names that you see have not contributed at all to the total sales. So now you have two customer names to perform further analysis upon or find why these customers are not placing an order. So as you see, subset ratio is a, an important factor from data quality perspective, but it can also be useful to find insight that can help you uncover some of the important trends and outliers. So with that, thank you for watching. And if you like our videos, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and visit analyticshub.io slash academy and become a pro member. We promise that if you join our membership, we'll help you take your click skills to the next level. So until next video, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.